Don Brown has been fired after five years as Michigan's defensive coordinator. Four of those years, frankly, were pretty good, I guess, uh, in the grand scheme of things. 2016, he came in after DJ Durkin took the Maryland head coaching job with the best defense in the country for almost the, pretty much the entire year, right? Didn't get the job done against Ohio State, gave up a two-score lead in the fourth quarter of that game. 2017, had to replace 10 starters and one of the best defenses in the country. Maybe some could say he didn't get it done in, in some of the better games. 2018, there was a stretch where no team in the Big Ten in the past 50 years has played better defense in the months of October, early November. But it all kind of came falling apart against Ohio State when the Buckeyes had the perfect game plan for Michigan's defense when two of Don Brown's assistants, Greg Madison and Al Washington, were maybe looking around for new jobs, took a job with those Ohio State Buckeyes a few weeks later. And... Didn't get a job in the, done in the bowl game against Florida that year, 2018. A promising season that saw the Wolverines get up to number four in the country. The final week of the season ended up with two straight losses. Last year, they got outmanned, outhustled, outperformed against Washington in the first half against Penn State, again against Ohio State. And in the bowl game, some of the players just kind of gave up in the second half, even though Michigan, crazy as sounds, as this sounds, folks, Michigan was leading Alabama at halftime in a football game this year, January 1st, 2020, Michigan went in the half over Alabama. Don Brown's defense held tough in the first half, but it was not to be in the second half. So where does Michigan go from here? With Don Brown being fired after five years as defensive coordinator. I think there's two candidates that everyone is going to be talking about here, and there were some names out there uh, in the past few weeks. Obviously, Derek Mason, who I talked to you about on Friday, I think it was, who put out a video talking about the defensive coordinator options for Michigan. Vanderbilt's held head coach uh, the last – few seasons, I think it was six seasons, and he worked with Jim Harbaugh in 2010, one year only, but it was a really good year for Harbaugh. Obviously, uh, Stanford went to the Orange Bowl. Jim Harbaugh took kind of the momentum of that job, took the San Francisco 49ers job, and then Derek Mason became the co-defensive coordinator in 2011, and then the defensive coordinator at Stanford in 2012 and 2013. Three straight Big Ten, uh, Pac-12 championships when he was D coordinator at Stanford, not the years with Jim Harbaugh, ironically, uh, the the you know couple years after that. And then six years as head coach, six and a half years head coach at Vanderbilt. Didn't get it done. So that's one that's going to be out there. A lot of people said that uh, Jim Harbaugh is going to be eyeing him, that they've had a good relationship. I told you last week that there have been conversations, at least initially, on what Derek Mason's future holds, whether or not he wanted to come up to Michigan as just an analyst for a few months while he's looking for his next job. But... It seems to me those conversations potentially could have accelerated in just in the past four or five days. Maybe Jim Harbaugh is make, looking to uh, make a hire of Derek Mason momentarily in the next day or two. But we still don't know what Jim Harbaugh's contract looks like. I'll talk to you about that in a second. The other name that you're probably not too familiar with, uh, I don't know a ton about the guy. It's Penn State co-defensive coordinator, safeties coach Tim Banks. Why is this a name? Well, People wanted to speculate because last week on signing day, the day before signing day, day after signing day, kind of like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday last week, he started following Michigan coaches, Michigan players, Michigan recruits uh, on Twitter and getting followbacks. Now, maybe that's something, maybe that's nothing, but he is a guy who has recruited the state of Michigan and most notably the city of Detroit and the surrounding areas very well at his time at Penn State. Look at the rankings this year. Penn State has a number of highly rated uh, commitments out of the state of Michigan. Now, these aren't necessarily all guys that I think Michigan were, you know, highly pursuing, that Michigan was going after with everything they had, but nevertheless, some high three-star guys that they landed. So that is potentially one to, to think about. Maybe he'd be a co-defensive coordinator. I don't know. Maybe he'd be somebody that would come in as a recruiting-focused co-defensive coordinator with, you know, with, uh, what's his name, uh, Derek Mason, from former Vanderbilt coach, former uh, assistant under Jim Harbaugh at Stanford. So with Don Brown fired, it's an end of an era for Michigan's defense. And frankly, this is a, an underperforming part of the program under Jim Harbaugh. The last, the, definitely 2020 season, most of 2019, I think you could reasonably say this team underperformed. And this year, you had Bob Shoup, the safety coach, not on the field the entire year. I think there's going to be some interesting personal things that come out uh about him and his behavior on the workplace as to why he hasn't been with the program this year. He's not going to return. Uh, you've had a number of coaches leave the program. You've had um, Chris Partridge went down to be co-defensive coordinator at Ole Miss. 
You had Al Washington and Greg Madison leave after the 2018 season to take uh, Washington a lateral move to be the linebackers coach with Ohio State, and uh, and Greg Madison to be take a kind of a defensive coordinator, but it's a co-defensive coordinator in title only because he's not he's never been the defensive coordinator, not last year, uh, and certainly not this year. Jeff Halfley last year, Kerry Coombs this year. He's got the defensive coordinator title. He's got the uh, uh, the salary of a million bucks plus, but he certainly doesn't have the play calling duties like a defense coordinator typically would. So those are the two candidates I have. Maybe Jim Harbaugh does what he did after the 2015 season where he literally said, I looked up who had the best defense in the country last year, and I just called up their defensive coordinator asking me if he wanted to work for us. Now, I don't know if that's a great strategy this time with Jim Harbaugh's job security being kind of iffy compared to 2015 where it was you know, bulletproof, where Jim Harbaugh's job security was indefinite at that time, turning around a 5-7 and seven team in, in 2014 before he took over to a 10-3 and three team his first season in Ann Arbor. So that is uh, the latest on, you know, that's my kind of instant reaction, instant take on Don Brown and Jim Harbaugh and who potentially Harbaugh could look at. Now, what do we know about Jim Harbaugh's contract? Because I was planning to put out a video on this later today anyway, so I'll just kind of preview that. Maybe I'll delay the video a day or so until we find out what happens to the defensive coordinator role. I think Jim Harbaugh is in a situation where he is uh, kind of in, have you ever seen the office where the guys are standing around the corner, they're doing one of these, you know, like this? We're doing this. That's Jim Harbaugh and Ward Manuel, except I think it's just like this. Who's going to shoot first, right? Me or you? So if you think back to January, February, March, even into last season, there was definitely some discussions that Harbaugh would get a four or five year extension back then for similar money that he made in his first contract. Then they lose to Ohio State again. You lose to Alabama in the bowl game. They don't get it done because, oh, we're focusing on the recruiting class in February. And then coronavirus hits in March. Okay, it would look bad for us to have this contract extension, yada, yada, yada. I think Jim Harbaugh went into it with, oh, my college buddy, Ward Manuel, RAD, I think he's going to live up to the uh, um, the offer we made back a, a year ago, back nine months ago. And when conversations happened in the past couple of weeks, the offer was not the same. And I think Jim Harbaugh is playing hardball here. He's saying, well, Ward, not interested in taking a 40% pay cut with incentives to maybe get back there if we do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to stick to that deal we, we agreed to six months ago, eight months ago. No, that's not available anymore, Jim. We have to restructure it. Eh, I'm good. I'll, I'll coach next year for eight and a half million bucks. Well, you can't do that, Jim. We might lose the recruiting class. Well, that's your problem. You offered me a deal. I want the deal. Deal's not available. I mean, this is the conversation they had back and forth, I believe, is the most likely scenario with where we're at today. So, what does that mean? I think we've got the 22nd I believe we've got 12 to 13 days of uncertainty at this point when it comes to Jim Harbaugh until maybe the Monday or Tuesday after the last game of the NFL season so maybe you know 12 days is the final day games of the NFL season from now and could we potentially see something come out uh, that Monday that Tuesday that Wednesday of that week where Jim Harbaugh either really pursues an NFL opening or Ward Manuel says, well, Jim, if you're not going to sign this new contract, you're fired. We'll pay you your, sign, your, your buyout. Or, Har or they both just stay, have a standoff, and Jim Harbaugh goes forward coaching next season without a contract, which I frankly think is an impossibility. So one of those two options is, is most likely. I don't think that Jim Harbaugh is going to sign the incentive-laden smaller contract, I think he's going to say to Ward Manuel, hey, you have me this contract. We, we agreed to it. We shook hands. We hugged it out. We had a cocktail. We said we're going to spend the rest of our careers as an athletic director, as a coach, together building Michigan football program back to what it was back when we played in the 80s. And now you're, 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 you're pulling that back on me. That's not, it's not the kind of guy I want to be around. So I think there's going to be a little bit of, a, of that going on. Maybe I could be wrong, but everything I've heard people spoke to and what just seems reasonable connecting the dots is that Jim Harbaugh has rejected a lower you know contract for lesser years a lesser buyout he wants the deal they agreed to before and he's willing to uh to let things just kind of hang in the wind until somebody makes a move that alters the future of this Michigan football program so that's the word Don Brown's fired no contact for Jim Harbaugh. I told you about a couple candidates that we might have for this role so let me know in the comments what you think about this move make sure to subscribe to the channel that's all for today, folks. As I said, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Just hit this icon right here, this little button with Harbaugh's face on it. Might have to change that icon here in a few days if he's not longer the coach. If you missed my defensive coordinator candidates I put out last week, got that for you right here. Got some more Michigan football news and rumors right here. Until next time, go blue.